Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use fonts and word art in Google Slides and how to use fonts and special characters in Google Documents. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my sample Google Slides presentation. And I'm going to add a new slide here. Let's add our new slide and I'm going to change our layout to blank for this demonstration. And I'm going to put in a little text box. Now the default in Google Slides is to use this Arial 14 point font. And so I can just say this is sample font. Or this is sample text. And then I can highlight it. And of course, change the size. And I can also change the type of font. Maybe I want to use the Georgia font or the Acme font. But you'll notice I can also go to more fonts and I have a library here of more than 400 fonts that are built into Google Slides and Google Docs. And so you can go through here and pick the ones that you want to use. Maybe I want to use some handwriting fonts and I'm going to use the permanent marker font. Let's add that one in. Click OK. And now I have my permanent marker font. And of course, I might want to change the color of that and maybe make it blue or this nice shade of bright purple and add that to the screen. Now, when I change the size of this box, the size of the font is not impacted at all. But if I shrink the box down, we'll see that the line has been that second line has now been created I make it larger now it's back to one line but the actual size of the font isn't impacted at all now the other option for using fonts and adding text to your slides is to use word art in google slides and this functions a little bit differently than adding text so we're going to add some word art and we do that from the insert menu and we'll go to word art and I'm going to just write in sample word art. And we'll see that it's now defaulted back to this Arial, but we can switch that out to permanent marker, but I'm going to need to format that so that it's smaller. And you'll notice I don't have a drop down menu for font size. And that's because word art will automatically resize as I change the shape of the box in which it's contained. You'll also notice that I don't have an option for inserting a new line. So if I shrink this down, the font changes shape and size a little bit to stay within that box itself. Now, there are some other neat things we can do with this word art. I'm going to stick with the framework of using the permanent marker font, but I'm going to change the color. I'm going to use that as my fill color, and I'll use this one as my border color. And you'll notice I can change the thickness of the border, and I can even make the border dotted if I wanted to. That's hard to read, but I could use a dotted border. And I can make that one again another color if I want and make it a little bit thinner border and let's change it back to orange so it shows up and again if I click on it and drag it it will automatically resize to fit that box so that's word art versus font in Google slides now let's go over to Google documents and look at how we can add fonts into Google Docs and special characters in Google Docs as well. So here's my sample Google document showing font options. And the default is again, Arial, and I've already changed my font size to make it 18 point instead of the standard 11 point. And you can see I can do that by just clicking those numbers there. And if I write more text, this is more text. we'll see that it's 18 point Arial font. And I can go down here and pick out different fonts and again, go to more fonts and find all kinds of fonts. I'm gonna to go to handwriting. I'm gonna use 
permanent marker once again, and we'll see there's my font. Now I can, just like any other font, I can change the color, make it red, purple, blue, or any other color that we see there in that menu, including custom colors by just clicking and dragging on that color palette, we can use all kinds of custom colors. So I'm gonna highlight that and let's put in my custom color right there of that nice dark green that I'm partial to. Now there is not an option for word art in Google Documents, but there is an option for special characters. And these can be very useful when creating a document. Let's go to insert let's select special characters and here in special characters we have some categories and symbols so we can check at check out these different symbols right now i have the musical symbols chosen but we could also do math and now we have math symbols and we can do currency we can even do emoticons if we like and Let's put in that little emoticon and we can make that larger by simply highlighting it and then adjusting the font size right there. Let's check out some other ones in here. You can see we have American scripts and we can see some options here. And let's insert one of those options. Or we can go back up here and we can say modifier and we can say we're going to include that one or we can go back up here and pick out anything else we want to use i'm going to do another emoji and let's use the big thumbs up and again highlight it and you can simply make it larger now if you're looking for a special character and you don't want to go through all the menus to find it. You can simply start searching by keyword. And you can look for them that way. Or you can use the drawing option here and see if it tries to identify a match. See if it identifies a match for you. In this case here, it thinks I was trying to draw a tooth. So let's include a tooth. So that's how you can work with font types, word art, and special characters in Google Slides and Google Documents. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.